Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a very nice equation with a parameter k. So I think this problem is from G Advanced 2007, correct me if I'm wrong, but we have an equation e to the power x equals x divided by k, and obviously k is not zero in this case, and we're going, uh, we're looking for one solution basically. So in other words, find the k value such that this equation has one solution only. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and put this equation in a nicer form, and then we're gonna go ahead and check out a couple graphs, and then we'll get to work. Ready, set, and go. First of all, let's go ahead and multiply both sides by k, knowing that k does not equal zero, because if it's zero, then we're, we'll have a problem, and we get k e to the x equals x. Awesome. This is nicer because we have an exponential and a line. I mean, they're both nice, but I just like to keep it this way. So now, we want this equation to have one solution or a single solution. How is that possible? First of all, I want you to take a look at the graph of two functions. Let's take a look. What happens if k is equal to 1 and we get e to the x and y equals x? Do they intersect? No. They're far apart, they do not intersect, so this equation has no solution for k equals 1. In other words, if I give you an equation like e to the x equals x, this has no real solution. Does it have any complex solutions? That's another story, something to think about. Can we use Lambert's w function to solve it? That's a good question. Anyways, we're not going to talk about it, I just wanted to show you, if k is 1, they do not intersect and there are no solutions. So here's what we want. We want them to intersect but not just intersect, we want them to touch each other at one point so that there's only one solution. Because what happens if they cross each other like this, then you're going to have two solutions. That's not something that you want. Do you want that? No. So how do we achieve this? If two functions are tangent, let's go ahead and do the following. Let's go ahead and call this exponential g of x, which is k e to the x, and let's call the other one f of x, which is just x, the diagonal, right? I just removed the numbers on purpose so you wouldn't see the intersection point, but you probably know the answer, maybe some of you. Anyways, so in order for these two functions to be tangent, first of all, they have to have a common point, so they need to intersect. Let's go ahead and call the, what is that, abscissa? I mean the x-coordinate, well, such a weird word, right? Is it Latin? Anyways, let's go ahead and call the x-coordinate of the intersection point r, for root, and then this is what needs to happen. Because they intersect, f of r and g of r needs to be the same, right? Think about it. Their image must be the same, or the outputs. So f of r equals g of r. That's the first condition, but we do have another condition. And that condition comes from the tangency. Because these graphs are tangent, and the tangent line happens to be f of x, the slope of the tangent line at r needs to equal the slope of the line. Make sense? Okay, so in other words, in calculus, it means f prime of r equals g prime of r, because f prime at r gives you the slope of the tangent at r. So we're going to go ahead and solve a system. Let's go ahead and do it. Now, we do know that f of r is equal to x. I mean, f of x is equal to x, I should say. f of x is x and g of x is k e to the x, right? That was our naming. Okay, so now we're going to first replace x with r, and if you do, you get r equals k e to the r. k is a constant. We're trying to find k. We don't know what it is, but we can replace x with r, all right? And then we're going to differentiate these functions. Let's go ahead and do it. f prime is just going to be the derivative of x is just 1. The derivative of a linear function is constant because it is a straight line and its slope at any point is the slope of the line. Make sense? Okay. And then g prime is the derivative of e to the x is the same, so it's just going to be k e to the x, which is the same. But then when you replace x with r, f prime of r is just going to be 1, right, from here. And g prime at r is just going to be k e to the r. Now take a look at this system. Take a good look. 
They're both equal to k e to the r, which means r equals 1. Great. Quick result. But we're trying to find k, not r. No worries. We can replace r with 1, and we'll get the k. Let's do it. If r is equal to 1, 1 equals k times e to the 1, which means k is equal to 1 over e, because k e is equal to 1. Make sense? So the value that we're looking for is 1 over e. So in other words, y equals 1 over e times e to the x, and y equals x r tangent. Are you serious? Obviously, you could also write this a little differently. Let, you could also write it as, hey, e to the x and e x are tangent. Let's go ahead and take a look at a graph real quick, and then we'll finish up, okay? And the graph basically shows you that, yes, these functions are tangent at x equals 1, but we're looking for k, and its value is, uh-oh, we're looking for k, and its value is 1 over e. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.